All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. I know you're shot. It's broken. It's not going in. You're probably a ifty fifty. You're probably not able to hit the way that you want to. Look, man. If you follow my instructions in this video, I promise you. Look, you're gonna be if you're in the 30s or something. If you if you're a shot, let's say you got a, a 70 shot. It's gonna bring you up to the 30s or the 40s. If you've got a 74 or higher, it's gonna bring you up to the 40s or the 50s, maybe the 60s. If you've got anything higher than a 78, you should easily be shooting in the 60s and and you know high mid to high 60s. If you're 85 or above, you'll be mid to high 60s, just like I am. Make sure you pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. Follow my instructions. I promise you that you will become a better shooter and you won't be 50 and people will start asking you what you're doing and they will be accusing you of aimbot. If you don't do anything else, like the video. It really helps me grow. Um, I'm gonna keep putting out tutorials like this, man. I also got a little rant video coming up this evening, but let's see if we can get this video to 300 likes in the first five, uh, in the first hour or something like that, man. And then, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and put out that rant video. Other than that, let's get right into it. Make it to C25, that's OG status I was told you could be anything, just don't be average Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head Now look man, I got my son Paw Patrol joint here for, for, you, for all you chases on the case ass people That swear that I got some type of aim But man, they said they got some type of they said that they got some type of uh, archive on me that's proving that I'm aimed by. And I'm like, bro, are y'all serious? Anyway, uh, I take the flattery, man. Flattery is all is flattery is always uh, welcome. Look, shooting with the shot stick is the way to improve yourself, man. Look, if you want to be get if you want to get better at shooting the ball, and you want to learn learn some um, you you just want you just don't want to be fifty no more. We got guys that I run with that I've shown how to run, how to shoot with the shot stick. I convinced them to use the shot stick with 75, 76 three balls, bro. As long as your guy got court, uh, what floor general, that's gonna bring you up to round around about uh, like right at the 80. You will be able to shoot this ball just like I'm doing right now. Look, you see what I'm doing? Straight down with the stick, and then I'm pulling the right, I'm pulling the left trigger. Straight down with the stick, pulling the left trigger. Because people kept saying in my videos, imagine, imagine aimbotting on this game. Bro, you don't have to aimbot in this game. It's so easy to shoot the ball when you accept the shot stick that it's just like, it's ridiculous. Look, this is just straight up muscle memory for me. This is what this is. Imagine what would happen if you actually took the time that you took hating on somebody and you practiced something and you became good at it. Like I have. And why does this ball get stuck up here? I just got good at this joint. I've been using it since day one. Everybody else on day one, what were they doing? Fake bill videos, telling you the best this, the best that, all that stuff. You know what I was doing? I was practicing the shot stick, trying to get good at it, saying I'm going to be an elite shooter this year because I'm gonna use the shot stick. I got my guy on PlayStation. He's a two-way a two -way, uh, lock. In, in in my career, I'm not missing. In the parking stuff though, they only let me shoot around like 35 to 40%. Bro, we got people with 90, he only got a 73 ball. We got people with 93 balls shooting 20% in this game. So I ain't trying to hear nothing about that. Like that guy's the only guy I got over there I'm shooting in the 30s and the 40s, almost 40s over there uh, from three. I'm shooting in the 70s from, uh, from mid range cause you know they'll let you hit mid range with those guys, they won't. They just won't let you hit threes and stuff with them. At any rate, look, this is how you do it. Straight down, pull left trigger when you when you're supposed to release the ball and you get a bonus. This the way the reason that shooting with the shot stick is so good and it's so so reliable to me is simply because of this. It gives me, like my guy Gambit says, it gives you two shots at a green. You can get green on the centering. And you can and it gives you a chance to green it on the time and like i just did right there that's why sometimes you're going to see people with the shot sticks it's going to say slightly right slightly left it's still going to go in you get two chances at a green it's double the risk double the reward because sometimes you're going to pull this joint down and it's going to be on the left side sometimes it's going to be on the right side sometimes it's just going to make you straight smoke a jump shot but look to me it's more reliable than that 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I just don't even trust the button anymore. Even though I can shoot with the button and it goes in, probably gonna go in at the same rate. I just look at it like this, man. I got th I got this center. I know how they like to uh, I know how they like to make my centers just shoot badly or something. You know how it is, man. If you got a power forward, they'll let you shoot some. A center over six nine in this game, they 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 really don't got nothing for you, man. And um, that's this is how you are gonna have to do it. So look, if I pull it down slow, it'll be on my left side. And it'll be on my left side every single time. So I have to move the tick to the left every single time. You can do that. You can get it, you can move it down slow, and then you can get used to that. That's fine. I've always preferred to snap it down and it be on my right hand side. Now, when you get really good at using the stick, what's going to happen is this. You're gonna go through a transformation of sorts because you're gonna realize that depending on what type of pass you get, what type of situation you're in with shooting, all that good stuff, it's going to impact where that tick is going to be. Now, like I said, I can hit this right on the head a good percentage of the time. Like I said, like I, I just know exactly how to pull the stick down and do it. And y'all are seeing me do this with my hand cam. Like it's, there's no secret to it. If you get good at it, you can do it. It's no flick it up, flick it down, make it up and smack it, rub it down, none of that. It's simply pull it straight down as quickly as you can, try to keep it in the middle, and as, as, as soon as you get used to it with the muscle memory, you're gonna be fine. The problem is that right there. Sometimes it's going to come up straight in the middle, and uh, sometimes, depending on the type of pass you get, let's say you're holding it too early, you see it's gonna come up in, it's gonna come up in a random spot. If the thing deems that you're holding it too early, it will come up in a random spot. Like right here, I'm holding it early right now. Right, look, see it came up at the top. If, I'm, if it deems that you held it too early, it will be in a random spot. I don't like that. And so that's why I've gone to the next level. And this is the same thing that you, that you all should do as well. But right now, look, straight down, boom. Like I said, it's, it's, it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. You should go test, you should definitely try it out. But once you get really used to it, what you're going to want to do is this. And I know it's kind of intuitive, but once you get it to where you feel like you're hitting it right on the head, almost every time go over here put the shot meter on free throws only and do it with the shot meter off the reason that you want to do it with the shot meter off because it eliminates the whole thing of did i pull it down too fast did i pull it down too slowly should i put it down a little faster you know all that stuff it, it eliminates it eliminates all of that like the only thing that you got to worry about now is can i pull it down pretty much in the middle every time and you and and can I time it right so now it doesn't matter if I pulled it down slow if I pulled it down quickly if I didn't pull it down like right now I'm already holding it so now it's it was in the middle or as close to the center as I could get it so because of that the only thing I have to do now is worry about timing because timing is a major component because look if I don't time it sometimes it will go in but look yeah, that's, uh, that did go in too. But if you don't time it, obviously it's gonna go in in here, in here. But if you're out there in the park and you're playing against competition, it ain't going in unless you time it right. So make sure that you cut, that you, you know, you try to figure out where your down is and, um, and you're timing it right with the right stick or the left stick. Look, you don't need no paper. You don't need no like some people like they got paper in their controller. Some people like they done, they done carved a niche in there. You don't have to do any of that. Some people are actually using the cronies and they like it's getting real crony out here. I, I don't know why why we, why you would do that because of the fact that this is is just really easy. And like I said, it really just takes away the fact that like right now I can already be holding it down. It doesn't matter because he's gonna shoot the ball and it's gonna say slightly right, slightly left or center, um, you know, whenever. Now, I will tell you this. Down is straight down when you're when you're playing with uh when you when you have the stick on, down is straight down when you have the meter off. When you have the meter on, down is not straight down. So right now I'm straight down right here. I think uh 2K Lab said something like it's a couple of degrees to the right or to the left when you're snatching it down or what have you. So be mindful of that. When you turn it when you turn it off, you will have to make a few adjustments or what have you. But I recommend 
as soon as you're comfortable with shooting with the stick, I recommend turning it off just because of the fact that when you turn it off, you get a boost for having the meter off, number one. Uh, that's number one. And then number two, you're getting the boost for shoot for using the shot stick for aiming. And then number three, you're also getting a boost for your timing. So it's just like you got three chances at a green. I did I did it like this, uh, turned the meter off, and man, I went in the wreck and I shot like nine for 10 um, as soon as I was able to get it right. And you will be able to get to the point where you'll just be able to feel where that center is. I'm just saying, don't be afraid of it because of the fact that, you know, obviously anytime you do something that's unknown, it is gonna be different. It is, but the people that you're playing with will definitely thank you because if you get a good jump shot and you pair it with this, you're not gonna miss. And you'll be shooting, you'll shoot a shoot at a, such a higher clip, it's not even funny. Like if you got a non-shooting bill, you're already smoking jump shots anyway. If you if you have a non-shooting bill, why not give it a try? You, your, your shooting percentage can only go up. Like I said, I got my guy on PlayStation. Mid ranges are automatic. They just make me miss threes because my shot is like a 70. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get him up to a 99. I'm gonna try to get Berg to max him out for me real quick. When Berg maxes him out, I'll go out there and shoot with it. I am pretty sure that I will be able to shoot this ball at a high clip with a 74 three ball, especially if I'm just over here in the corner and centers are just leaving me open. Like I really feel like I'll be able to do that, but we'll get to that part later. I'm gonna get that guy maxed out for us as soon as possible and we're gonna go from there. But anyway, like I said, you're already shooting the trash percentage. What do you got to lose, man? Give it a try, use the shot stick, this is probably one of the best tutorials you're gonna get, man. Like, look, just concentrate on getting it straight down and moving it to the tick. Just very micro, micro uh, adjustments. Once you get good enough, you won't even have to move it to that tick anymore. And then you can just turn it off and uh, you'll be automatic as or as automatic as you can be, man. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. I hope this video helped y'all out and uh, has cleared my name because, bro, you, you talk about people swearing that I'm using aimbot when I'm playing with Brute. Like Brute said, hey look, he played with snipers. So it just is what it is. With a shooting bill, obviously it's gonna be good. But if you don't have a shooting bill, like I said, what do you have to lose? Take those three boosts, uh, take the three bonuses, do your thing, and you really should be good to go. And uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Trip! Guys, please.